So I suppose you could ask the question, what is a gym? And um, for me, I don't need a huge amount. My gym is everywhere. It can be hill sprints, it can be running along a beach, it can be cycling, uh, lifting weights, lifting rocks, once you're exerting. Strength is something that's really, really important. There's nothing like the weight, nothing like the bar with plates on it to assess you and tell you exactly where you are in your life, how, what level of stress you're at, what level of recovery you're at, or you know how, how you're feeling in yourself. This isn't the fanciest of gyms, and I've trained in some very fancy gyms, but at the end of the day, 20 kilos is still 20 kilos, a chin-up bar is still a chin-up bar, um, and once you've got a linear progression with your training, meaning that you're going in a constant steady rate, progressive on weight, progressive on reps, and progressive on sets, you're always gonna see progress. As important as all of this gym-based stuff is and your strength work, your kettlebells, your dumbbells, and your barbells, it's also for me extremely important to get out in nature, to get grounding, to bring my feet onto the ground, to feel the sand or the clay or the water on my toes. It helps from a decompression of the EMFs and the kind of toxicity that we're exposed to every day, right down to just helping my feet move better. So I like to get out on the beach on some days, based on my energy level, it's a long, slow, steady walk. Other days, I'll have intervals. Today's session, I'm gonna have some interval work three different types of intervals. First interval is gonna be longer, steadier. So warm up pace, nice and cool, getting used to breathing. Unfortunately, I'll probably be on rocks and not able to go barefoot. Second one, I'm gonna add some weight in. So I'm bringing some resistance in. So I'm gonna have 20 extra kilos on top of my body weight for hill sprints, for some, some faster paced work. If I was using my heart rate, I'd be hitting 160 plus in my heart rate. And then I finish with what we call a couplet. So we're gonna do a, a dumbbell snatch, which is an explosive movement with a dumbbell, straight into a sprint up a hill. And what that does is it stimulates lactic acid, it's gonna improve my creatine phosphate system, and it's gonna get me breathing pretty heavy. So when you get exposed to these waste products, and higher intensity and short duration like that, for me, that helps to build out my base for my fitness. So I've run marathons before with two days training per week. My two days were one long steady run to build that low level base, and then interval work, work with fast, strong stuff. So I ran the marathon in very good shape for me, looking lean, looking healthy, and um, not having to drop huge weight, and I came 17th in the marathon. It was a, a cross-country marathon, but that's okay. So that's what is important with your training for that variance, uh, to get the feet on the ground and to get out in nature. Eat. There's even been some research showing that having a panoramic view, not a wall that's straight in front of you, helps to open your mind, improve creativity, and also helps to de-stress and, and clear the head. And I often find myself on a run, having to take my phone out and put a memo into it, because I'll come up with a business idea, or I'll come up with a creative idea, or I'll come up with an idea that's gonna solve world problems. Yeah.